general manager at Sanders Grand Riviera Beach and Golf Villa Resort. Tell us exactly why does Remy Martin and Sandals partner for an event like this? We actually have a lot of great partners in this event. The Jamaica Tourist Board, Atlantic Records, Island Roots and Remy have partnered together to bring some phenomenal prize winners from all over the Caribbean and the United States to come down here to enjoy a weekend with Sean Paul. This afternoon they actually went out on a cruise on one of the Island Roots catamarans. Tonight we're going to have a great party and who knows when it's going to finish. Tell us a little bit about what happens when, I, when, I, when two brands like Remy Martin and Sandals get together. Tell us about how your guests uh, appreciate that. Our partnerships are phenomenal and we are very pleased to be associated with Remy Martin. They make the finest cognacs in the world and we serve them exclusively at all of the Sandals resorts. And we're thrilled to partner with them tonight because, as you know, a good brandy and a good vacation go together. We just want to welcome you to Jamaica. Thanks so much for coming. We're excited to have you all here. Tell me a little bit, is this your first time to Jamaica and what has the experience been like since, since you've been here? Okay, I've just taken a cruise here before, but this is my first any kind of resort and it's just been amazing. I've had like the best time with the food and the drinks and the entertainment. I'm just really loving it. I don't want to go home tomorrow. I want to stay. Well, I'm actually from Jamaica, so but this is the first time that I've enjoyed the resort lifestyle. Definitely want to do this again. Tell me, how did you get the opportunity to come to Jamaica? Yes, okay, well, uh, I have a hometown radio station in West Palm Beach called X1023, and I was a certain caller, and I was registered. Once I won that certain caller prize, I was registered to win the grand prize trip to Jamaica, Sean Paul Getaway, and I won it. So like, they called me that following week, and they said, you won the grand prize, and that was three weeks ago, and three weeks later, here we are, living it up, Sandals Resort, having a ball. How did you get to come? Did you come with your friend? Hey. Yes, she dragged me out and said, we won, we she won. I'm me. like, won what? She She's owes like, we're me. going to Jamaica. Next vacation on her. So she dragged me out. I'm like, okay, sure, I got a passport. Let's go. <laughs> it was like real fast. Really have you guys been enjoying Remy Martin while you've been enjoying some of the great things that have been happening here? Yes, it's just, that is just one of the things we have been enjoying, is, among much other things. We drink Remy. Six or seven drink for the day, and Remy has been <laughs> in it. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about what you expect for tonight, your, your experience with Sean Paul. What, what do you want to see happen here tonight? Um, he, maybe he take his shirt off and throw in the crowd. I don't know. I'm just joking. Just a couple pictures with him we would love. We're big fans back at home. He's played all the time on our radio station. So we're really excited just to see him in his new mohawk and take a couple pictures. And that'll make our night. Got to love you. Got to love you. Yeah, got to love you. 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 Baby, got to love you. Got to love you. Got to love you. Now after you've seen Sean Paul on stage, after you've experienced everything that the weekend has had to offer, what's your verdict? Um, it's 
great here. I want to say big up to CPJ, Remy Martin. I'm having a blast. I enjoy myself. And I want to say congrats one more time. CPJ, big up all of you. So, who do you love? We love Remy Martin. exciting to see you performing in Jamaica. Tell me a little bit about what it's like to perform locally versus internationally. Nerves, you know, butterfly. I mean, there was there was not as much um, local, you know, contingent in the crowd. It was, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a hotel. There's a contest going on where I brought down people. But every time I perform in Jamaica, it's a little nerves. It's my own people. I want to give them the best. You know what I mean? That I haven't performed here very much in, in the past, what, five years. Um, this is Jamaica's 50th anniversary, so to me, I, when I realized that it was our 50th anniversary, I started to dedicate each show that I have to it, to, to that vibe, um, to partying, to talking about the country, to talking about um, the vibes there. And um, it's like, I did a little taste of, of what's going on, um, you know, when I travel internationally tonight. But um, it's always, as I said, when I come home, nerves. But it's good. So being the, fifth, being the first show, um, for the year on the 50th anniversary, I think it's a, it was a good quick off. I want to do a couple more like these. I have a dream to do that, but also perform for you know local crowds. And I mean, a couple of weeks ago, I went into Dirty Rock, which is the club that I keep in Club Rhythm and um, New Kingston Strip. Me and Left Side do it, and um, it was cool. And same vibe, same nervousness, and think uh, I want to get the best of the peeps. I mean. Tell me a little bit more about what it's like to be a, an ambassador for Jamaica. You keep talking about the 50th anniversary. Yeah. What do you think is your role in being an ambassador for Jamaica? Well, I can't be a spokesperson. I can't be somebody that speaks for positivity. I'm a positive kid. Not tall in my name. I'm born in January. Capricorn kid. You know what I mean? So I speak a good things. And I take my blessings and reflect it that way. And so being 50 years, I would rather see um, the... the, 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 the 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 good side of the of the 50 years, you know what I mean? When people say the, the cup half empty, I want to say yeah, yeah, it's half full right now. I was saying before, our our culture is, especially dancehall and reggae music, is is a very dominating force in the English-speaking Caribbean. We we own it. We even helped to start our music in the Spanish-speaking Caribbean, like like reggaeton and things like that. Is just an indication and a proof. Um, that our culture is strong, it's, it's our people wanting to talk to the earth and so I'm one of the ambassadors in that realm and I think that I have a voice to be able to, to say to the rest of the world um, and say to Jamaica also, let's pull it together, let's get, pull up with socks, let's take it to the world, you know what I mean? Second to last question, tell me a little bit about what it is like to partner with a, you know, a brand like Re Remy Martin. Uh, Remy Martin is a, well, I drink cognac. So that's my favorite piece of poison, you know what I mean? <laughs> One of them. But um, yeah, it was a good link up. I mean, we did some charity events with them abroad um, in New York. And I mentioned to them a little dream that I had about bringing people here. I wanted to do a lot more. I mean, when I was growing up, you know, we had beach parties that was just nuts. And um, so, you know, Independence Weekend, Easter Weekend, the Lime Key thing, you know what I mean? Going to Hellshire on Sundays. And I wanted people to experience that part of it of our culture where sometimes a lot of people come here they, they, they sit in these in, the, in in you know in the in the institutions in the, in the hotels which is a great thing but sometimes a lot of them express to me they want to feel the vibe of the country the real heartbeat and so with this kind of thing I'm introducing I think next time I want to try to carry them to the club to Dutty Rock on Fridays you know a bunch of people couple bus loads and just bring them and make them experience what you know, really is going on for what made me be here. That's dance hall. I used to tee for go front line and top line and house of Leo and yeah. So right now, like, I want people to experience that part of it. Um, a lot of people ask me when you do collabs, like, who was the favorite one? And to me, it was Rihanna because she came here to Jamaica. She came here. She experienced the beach, the club, the studio, the restaurant, the man Rara. So that was a cool collab because of that for me, because she got an insight into my life and the people here. Um, so it's the same thing with these kind of shows, and Remy Martin has facilit facilitated that right now. Um, also Atlantic Records, big up to, to all radio stations that were involved. People from Hawaii, people from Barbados, people from Wichita and all these stuff, good stuff, man. 
All right, just give me briefly what's going on in the world of Sean Paul. What can we expect from you in the next couple of weeks? I hear you're going to Germany, lots of things happening. Tell me very quickly what's happening in your world. Um, you know, Tomahawk Technique is an album that's, that's basically been out in Europe and Japan. It's about to drop in the States. Um, I call it Tomahawk te Technique because I think it's the cutting edge of music. You know and I mean, I think my lyrics are really sharp when I'm doing my thing style wise. And, you know what I mean? Really going out there and, and being on the edge of what's, what's um, new. And so that album been, been doing, this album been doing well for me. Um, as I can say, it's been like um, how much week now out in, this, in, in Europe? Probably two months. And it's been really causing waves and doing a, good, a, a great job of, um, you know, I've been doing a great job of promotion right now. So um, I think that, um, I think that um, the, 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 the focus this time around actually was the whole Olympics and the 50th anniversary and that kind of vibe for me, which kind of helped me to write this song called um, Hold On. It's a big song for me. Um, it's one of my more universal songs. Um, I'm liking how people are, are, are um, checking out that vibe. So I have, a, I have the first, um, what do you call it? Um, the first tour coming in France, um, that is when, April. Um, do that for a little while and then I come back home. I think most of June, July, August, I'll be between promoting and also just doing regular shows. Um, I have, I, have, I have a video with Simple Plan that just come out. Simple Plan is a group, a uh, rock group I just did uh, a song with. Um, I have a tune with Spraga Benz that I produced uh, and we wrote together a song called Call Up and Ja, which is an inspirational song. It's coming out pretty soon. In, in Japan, the album is going well, so um, we did a video for the song called Dream Girl. That's the third single. And so that, those three things you can look out for video-wise, um, the Spraga Benz tune, the Simple Plan tune, and also Dream Girl.